Good morning, Year 7 and 8. My name is Michael Wolfe and I'm Secretary of this fellow Past Students. But today it's not about the past students, it's about school cadets. I joined Chevalier in 1956 from LSH at Barrel and in 1958 joined the Cadet Corps. In those days it was compulsory that you join. However, the compulsory side of it soon faded because of the enjoyment we gained out of the cadets. Uh, in 1959 I was made a corporal and attended the first intelligence course at Holsworthy Camp a new section within the organisation to broaden the skills. At that stage we had support platoons including anti-tank, heavy machine gun, light machine gun and uh, signals units and this was the latest introduction in intelligence unit. In 1960 I was a company sergeant major having completed the cadet under officer course at uh, Singleton in 1959. The CSM, probably the best job you can get in any army or any cadet unit. Uh, you were pretty much a free organisation. You could and were responsible mainly for the drill within the cadet unit and also I also undertook the intelligence side of training selected members in that particular service. Cadets, I think, are missed in today's society and I could only encourage you as strong as I can to join the Cadet Corps. Chevalier Cadet Corps was founded in 1949 and flourished through, I believe, as a proper military unit till the late 70s, early 80s. In those days, the war was only 10 years old that it had finished and military training was right throughout the community. What did we really gain out of the cadets? Well, five points. And if you've got a pencil, you can jot these down. The first is training. Second is teamwork. Third is confidence. Fourth is planning. And the fifth is execution. Training, doesn't matter what form of life you go into, what career you go into, you require training. Cadet training is very thorough. It was in those days where we learned to use the 303 rifle, stripping it down. In fact, I still remember my rifle number, 120756. One of those bits of trivia you never forget. It's a bit like your laundry number, 266. Uh, training is integral. The training you get through the military is probably the best you can get in this country. Secondly, teamwork. Any organisation, functions purely on teamwork. Without good teamwork, you have chaos. The way you are taught or army organisation and assuming something along this line is current in today's cadets, then tremendous benefit. It will work well for you in later life if you rise even above the factory floor and you become a foreman or through to a manager all the way through training, uh, the training backed up with teamwork, will get results. Companies survive on people delivering results. Thirdly, confidence. Running a team builds confidence, not only for you as a leader, but also for your team members. Confidence manifests itself in many ways. Being able to run a large parade. As company sergeant major, my responsibility was to, uh, to pull the parade together every Friday and at the ceremonial passing out parade was to conduct the initial stages of that parade. Marching on, lining up, having everything set and you need confidence to do that. Com issuing commands in an open area in front of 2,000 odd guests requires confidence. All the way through in my training as cadets and also the other work at Chevalier gave me the confidence to be able to conduct those parades. Also, the confidence to train people. You need to be resolute, you need to be uh, strong in communications to deliver that. Again, all of this was part of Chevalier Cadet Corps and part of Chevalier. It helped build confidence. Number four, planning. Moving the cadet unit from barrel 
to Singleton in 1960 for a cadet camp where we were the only unit on our own. We were out on the old Army Artillery Range. Planning that, getting everyone up there, was part of the college responsibility, but it also fell to the officers and the CSM. Getting people onto trains as soon as possible at Barrel Station was no mean feat. Arguing with other parents at Mittagong because they wanted their kids to turn up with blankets and sheets, which you just do not take on cadet camp. Everything is provided. Straw palliasse, three blankets, one pillow without pillow slip, and uh, a giggle suit. All provided, including very good food. Cadet camps were fantastic. Uh, Organising showers for that particular camp was a simple thing. We had 45 knot winds blowing from the west. It was freezing cold in May. Showers had to be built and that fell under my area. Organising a crew to do it and then having shifts providing hot water for students to have a, or cadets to have a shower. The interesting part was they had to stand about two feet to the side of the uh, canvas bucket shower because the wind was so strong it was blowing the water in that direction. Finally, Execution. That is the summary of what cadet training is about. Allowing you and training you and showing you how to execute a plan with the people that you have trained, who have formed into a team, who can deliver a result. I believe today, as it was in those days, school cadets is a good thing. Looking after your uniform and being proud to wear an Australian military uniform is quite an honour and it's one I will never forget. I can only encourage you to join the cadets. You will get more out of it for a little effort that you put in by joining. If you talk to a lot of the old students, they would say it should be compulsory. It's very, very good training. Simply knowing how to use a rifle in a safe manner understanding the damage a projectile can do, having the discipline to use it correctly. You may not be using arms. That is a shame. But the training that you will be provided with, even in a community aspect, will be invaluable. Sign up. You will enjoy it. You will get a lot out of it. And I'm sure you will be proud that you will have been a member of this Chevalier Cadet Unit. Thank you.